What's going on, Falcon fam? This your boy Rikundo coming back at you with another video. So today we're gonna talk about the signing of offensive lineman Trevor Reed out of Louisville, undrafted free agent from this year, 2023 draft, and how he can probably help these Atlanta Falcons with all the injuries that's popping up to our offensive line and maybe he can help out with the depth so guys with that being said if you have not already go ahead and please subscribe to the channel please hit that notification bell so you know that i drop another video please hit the like button so i know you guys like to hear that I talk about then please share my video throughout the youtube universe where more people can come in and hear me talk about yep these atlanta falcons so guys like I said, it's been reported that Atlanta Falcons have signed Trevor Reed. We all know that Matt Hennessy was put on the injured reserve um, as of yesterday, and he's going to be out for the season. So the Atlanta Falcons bring in offensive lineman Trevor Reed, a guy who actually has ties to our offensive line coach, Dwayne Letford, when he was with the University of Louisville. So um, somebody that knows a little bit by what Trevor Reed um can do and maybe be able to unlock some of his potential that he had. Trevor Reed actually was with the Philadelphia Eagles early this offseason, but definitely could not stick with them. So bringing him into this offensive um, line group to help. Um, I mentioned, you know, numerous times that, you know, the Atlanta Falcons still trying to figure out their swing tackle position, and Trevor Reed is just going to get added into the mix of that. Um, right now, you know, looks like Jalen Mayfield and Josh Miles um, is the two guys that's probably um, ahead right now for that swing tackle position. We know Jalen Mayfield last game played at right tackle, but this week it's reported that he's been playing at left tackle during practice. So he's they trying to fit him in that swing tackle. Of course, they still have Josh Miles there as well, um, and then to lead. The other two guys, Barry Wesley and Tyler Brable, is the other guys that's vying for that position. So bringing in another guy like Trevor Reed to actually put his his name in the hat as well for that 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 swing tackle position is definitely um, time. Of course, we got one game tomorrow. You know, going into the preseason game, so he definitely probably won't you know get the opportunity to show he has. So. He only has probably one week, but like I said, because he has ties with Dwayne Lefford, Dwayne Lefford might know a little, little bit about him, and if anything, Trey Reed could be put on the practice squad, you know, and be part of the developmental plan for these Atlanta Falcons, so might not be ready right away, but somebody they could utilize, you know, here in the future, if not this season, next season, so... Um, put him into the, the program with these Atlanta Falcons to learn from guys like um, Jake Matthews. And, and um, that's, that'll be great for a guy like Trevor Reed. So, um, guys, I definitely want to hear what you think about bringing Trevor Reed in. We know the issues with our offensive line. Um, one of the concerns definitely is the swing tackle position. Um, looks like. Um, Matthew Bergeron won the left guard position by default because Matt Hennessy got hurt. But, you know, I had the feeling that, you know, that competition would have went down to, you know, the last days anyway. And I felt like Matt Bergeron probably probably could have beat out Matt Hennessy. Even though Matt Hennessy played well towards the end of the season last year at that left guard position, I think the Atlanta Falcons all along wanted Matthew Bergeron to win it. You know, investing this uh, second round pick where they actually moved up in the draft to get him. Um, that's what they really wanted. Now, what we'll get a chance to see tomorrow is Matthew Bergeron, his first game um, at left guard right beside Jake Matthews, going up against what it looks like is going to be the Bengals starting defense. So, good challenge for our offensive line, for our offense. Um, all our guys that did not get a chance to, you know, to put it on and display their um, their game on last Friday, they'll definitely be able to do that tomorrow. So, looking forward to see what these guys going to be able to show us. See, can they build on some of the positive things um, that they they showed us on Friday? Of course, it was none of these guys going to you know that's going to be starting the game. Is actually our ones going, but 
the biggest things is being able to move the ball on offense, executing, and all those things. And on defense, you know, making sure they still stay aggressive on defense, putting their hand on ball in the backfield, and making sure that they clean up on our tackles is where it's needed. So those are some of the things that we definitely um, – can get to see tomorrow. I can't wait. I know you guys are excited as well. But in the end, let me know what you think about bringing in another offensive lineman, another guy that the Atlanta Falcons have added to this 90 man, 90 man roster with two weeks left before the big cut day. And this is your boy Ricundo coming back at you with another video. Peace.